Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay fellas, uh, for this Gloom and Doom Monday at Doom for you, I have video number four for you on my uh, fun build of the Tamiya 148 scale G4 M Betty Bomber. Admiral Yamamoto's uh, famous uh, transporter where he got shot down. Okay, I should have the final reveal for this tomorrow. This thing built pretty fast. I've taken my time on it. I've been working on this thing off and on for about a, almost a week now. And uh, I spent a lot of hours on the uh, on painting this thing. And uh, I pretty much captured the Japanese eyes on this thing. But somehow the love of life of me, I'm building Japanese models now. I'm building a, I got this thing on the ways. This is the 172nd scale Hasegawa G3M Nell. And uh, so I'll be able to work on that. I'll be able to work on this thing about two or three days. This tube builds fast. Also been working on my abatross. I got a lot more work to do before I close the fuselage. So I've been working on this. And, uh, so right now I've been working a lot of Japanese aircraft lately. And, um, so I'll probably be here, there, everywhere in my builds. I gotta get back on my HMS Victory and my hood and also my turpets. I gotta get back on that. I've been kind of getting off that a little bit, getting off track on my ship builds. These airplanes keep calling on me, everything calls on me, so I, I'm just having a ball. Okay. Enough chatting and everything. We'll swing around and take a look at the G4M Betty. There she is on top of the box top. We'll zoom in just a tad. Underneath is uh, painted all natural aluminum on them. I gave it some weathering. A little dark earth underneath there. That was put, that was pre-shaded. Also, I put a wash of brown uh, wash on the bottom of it too. <coughs> on the um, top surfaces. As you can tell, I painted Imperial Japanese green. Two different greens were on here. And using a sponge, and my uh, famous stay tweezers right here I got. Take a little sponge, sewing his Q-tip as a as a sponge right here. You dip your aluminum and just kind of dabble on it. A little dabble. Not very much. Just dabble. And these cases, these Betty Bombers were very were used quite much, and they love shipping on these things. And sometimes you got to feather in that chipping mark too, because they do feather in. Goes together very well. And uh, comes with 17 crew fix, 17 figures on this thing. Got Yamamoto out over here holding this famous samurai sword. And uh, got a crew radio operator. You got the observer with the, what the, uh, you had the observer with the uh, binoculars on there. Taking a view of everything. I guess those little P38s came out like that and strafed and they strafed them. They got Mr. They got Admiral Yam Yamamoto and his, uh, one of the attaches with them and everything. The plane that actually everybody was killed on it before the, before the aircraft crashed. These Betty Bombers are not a bad looking airplane. The Kachikata is what the Japanese call it, means cigar. We call it the Betty. And it's a nice airplane. I really enjoy building these things.
This kit goes together very well. A novice shouldn't have no problems at all at building one of these. Because it goes together very well. And uh, there's no fit issues at all. Just follow the instructions. And um, it's weathered enough as it is. I got the exhaust on there and everything, as you can see. It makes a very, very good uh, collector of World War II aircraft. This is the first time in life I've ever built a Betty before. It's not a bad looking airplane, to tell you the truth. It's a very pretty aircraft, to say the least. So this is a limited edition kit. I guess they don't make too many of these. I guess I got the last one. And uh, that's floating around eBay, so you can get them there. They're, they're, they're going to get it very well. I, very, I encourage you guys to, uh, to get yourself one of these Betty Bombers, because they, they uh, it's a very beautiful airplane. It's very strong too. Very strong. So all I got left to do is transparencies, the propellers, and a couple guns. And uh, she's done. I gotta put a wash around the exhaust pipes too. So I'll probably do that probably tonight, sometime. And I'll be working on the nail too as well. And, uh, oh yeah, also, I'm going to work on something else too here. I forgot to show you fellas. I had this one since 1971. This is the, uh, the Hasegawa F-4B Boeing Shipboard Fighter. It's one thirty-second scale. I've been working on it. I got a little sanding dew right there. Rub down with some nice sandpaper and and uh, start painting it. I got all the holes drilled for the for the wires to go through. So this is a nice kit. This is probably one of the first offerings of one thirty-second scale that. Hasegawa produced back in 1970-71 and they made its army cousin the P-12E and um, after that came out the the Hellcat came out in 1972 and from there on they were really pouring on the 132nd scale aircraft like the Major Smith and the, the, uh, the AM-620 and uh, the Fiesler Storch and a, ho and a host of other ones too, the Folk Wolf. So they're really kind of pouring them out. And uh, they are very good tooling kits for the time. A lot more different than we are. So I had that old bird for a long time. So guys, I'm kind of here and there everywhere. I'm getting these builds knocked out. I got nothing better to do than work on my things. So this right here is the conclusion of the uh, of my Betty. And uh, here's me right here to sign off for the video. Okay. I'll probably get back hot on my card models pretty soon, too. I got, I got my turpits I got to finish up on. I'm still working on my battleship hood up there. I've been meaning to make a video of that. I think I made a, a live action with it once, but I got a lot more done since the last live action so I'll probably be posting a video of that too as well so tomorrow I'll stay posted for the final reveal for the Betty I'm gonna take it outside it was it's supposed to be nice out there tomorrow if it is I'm gonna take it out here behind my my bay window right here we just uh, make a nice video of it out being outside okay guys that's the conclusion of uh, video 4 so video 5 will be the final reveal um, make mama happy take care of the little ones and please be careful guys 
I'm afraid the bottom of this country is going to open up real soon. And it's, going to, it's not going to be a pretty picture. It's going to be messy. And it's not going to be a very nice thing for little children to see, too. Because it will scar their minds the rest of their lives if they're seeing this stuff was going on. Over stupidness. Terrible, terrible thing, guys. And I'm like, I don't want to get into it, but uh, I just hope and pray things get better. That's all there is. You got to resort to a higher power, and that's God. You got to say, God, you help us get this place squared away, and He will. Things will get squared away, guys. We don't bruise that easy. So anyway, when you when you're out taking care of your business, want to work, please be careful of your surroundings. Look around. Spend wisely and uh, wear a mask all the time to protect yourself and your family. I want none of you guys getting sick with this dim, this devilish disease that's going around this world. Those that the black cloud throughout the earth. Things will get better. I know they will. And uh, so that'd be that. Well, okay, that's the conclusion of video four. So video five would be the final reveal, so stay posted for that, fellas. And thank you very much for your wonderful candor and your wonderful comments. And uh, and please take care of yourselves and take care of the little ones and your wife. And uh, buy yourself a cat, like Stu says, get kick crazy and build because it's cold outside. And it's a good time to stay home and, and build some models. Enjoy yourself. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a blast. Okay, that's it for the Betty. That's it for Frankie Day. So it's tomorrow, Betty and Frankie will have the final reveal of the Betty Bomber. So stay posted for that, fellas. God bless you guys. You guys take care. I love you, fellas. You guys take care.